And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Scratch and the Sea Serpent. Scratch was headed for trouble. On the shore of the lagoon near the center of the island, he had found what appeared to be the entrance to a great cave. Scratch peeked into the dark interior, squeezed between the huge white rocks at the entrance, tumbled inside, and then down he went. Down, down, down into a tunnel of darkness. Too late. Scratch realized that this wasn't a cave at all, but the inside of a gigantic sea serpent. And the great white rocks he had squeezed through were the monster's teeth gleaming in the sun. And now those giant jaws of the sea serpent had closed, trapping our caveman friend, maybe forever. Of course, little Squeak, busy in his library, and Colonel Bleep in his laboratory were unaware that Scratch was in trouble. Bleep, for some time, had been experimenting with a secret formula for changing Teutonic lightning bolts into solid rods stronger than steel. That very morning, he had discovered the final missing ingredient, which Bleep called Frigid Teutonium 505. By creating a Teutonic lightning bolt, then quickly freezing it with Frigid Teutonium, the bolt became a solid rod, as light as a feather, yet stronger than steel. That same morning, Little Squeak was in the library of his new dream hall, dusting the many shelves filled with wonderful magic books. These books were magic because the pictures in them actually moved. For instance, here's a page from Treasure Island. And Jack and the Beanstalk. And here's Squeak's favorite book, The Adventures of Pinocchio. The story of the little wooden puppet who had all kinds of exciting adventures and even became a real live boy. It wasn't until about 20 minutes after Scratch disappeared down the throat of the sea serpent that Bleep and Squeak discovered he was missing. Through the Futonic radar scanner, Bleep could see every spot on Zero Zero Island, but Scratch was nowhere to be found. Then, Bleep saw a movement in the lagoon. It was the sea monster. And when Bleep switched on the X-ray vision attachment, he plainly saw that the caveman was trapped in the stomach of that serpent. In an instant, Bleep and Squeak streaked to the water's edge. With a flash, Bleep made two futonic lightning bolts, sprayed them with frigid Futonium 505. And using these strong rods as stilts, they waded into the sea to catch the serpent by surprise. As Squeak pinched the monster's nose, its mouth opened and Bleep jammed the stilt between those great jaws. And before Squeak could squeak, the colonel had dashed inside the serpent to rescue their old friend Scratch. Then Bleep grabbed the beast by the tail and with super futonic strength threw him completely out of this world. So once again, Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch are reunited. And you can just bet that Scratch will not step into any more caves without testing first to be sure that it is just a cave.